So in this video, we're going to take a look at how we can use static uh, member into Godot for the tour because uh, the, the possibility to uh, create static member is uh, one of the big updates of the Godot for the tour that's going to be normally released uh, in early July. And thanks to Remy, aka Akian, which is one of the lead developers of uh, Godot, that has kindly responded to uh, a question I've asked on Twitter. Uh, I can make a little uh, video uh, on this uh, topic today because it's a very important topic, specifically if you're making a uh, uh, a game that is a bit more complex it can uh, it can help you a lot <laughs> in many in many ways so that's what we're gonna see today and before to set up just give a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't and if you want to learn uh, Godot 4 I have like a tutorial on this channel I also have made a lot of courses on Udemy that you can check notably the last one is a focus on creating two games with Godot 4 I will put a link with a discount uh, in the description of this video so let's get started so the first thing to understand is how it works. So for that, I have created a little scene. Uh, it's a 3D scene. Uh, and so I have uh, like a, a little character that uh, can move into like a world in three dimension. You can see that I can collect orbs. I have an enemy that can chase me uh, if I am entering into its zone and I can kill it with like a sword. Okay, perfect. So now how can I use that into the game? Uh, so the thing that I can do is like over there, just right here, I have a plague. And so when I enter into that plague, you can see that the plague changed color. Like I just changed the albedo, that's it. And so I can uh, create a variable that I can put that uh, into that uh, that plague. And when my player is entering into it, it uh, displays, for example, the, the, the variable. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, so I'm gonna go first to my player right there and i'm gonna go to the script and so i'm gonna go at the top uh, and what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna create a static variable so for that you need to say static var and i'm gonna call it give underscore number and i'm gonna set it equal to five for now we're just gonna print a number uh, uh, just to see if it works uh, so this is the first step but we have a second step that is very important and we need for that uh, to give uh, a name to the class and so for that we just need to tap class underscore name and i'm gonna call that class player that's it. So now that I have that, I can print, uh, I can see if I can access uh, that variable give number in my plague. And so that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to go back to my save point. So like my uh, plague is called save point because that's the point I want to use to save. Uh, and so uh, here uh, I'm going to just say that when my player is detect is entering into that area, then I'm just going to uh, print the number. So I'm going to print and I'm going to say give a uh, player. So the name of the class dot give give underscore number and it's gonna print the number that uh, I have just created. So I think it's that. Hold on, let me just make sure that I have my class that is right. I think I haven't saved, so I just need to come here. Give number player. That's fine. It's it's okay. So now I can come here. I can launch the game. And so when I'm going to enter into that plague, uh, then it's going to print 5 just right there. So let's go. I come here. And you can see that now it prints 5. Perfect. So uh, now what I need to do is how can I use that for doing something else? So for example, I can use that and I can I can decide that in my save point, uh, give number is not 5 anymore, but it's something else. And so I can come here and I can say player dot give underscore number is equal now to 15 for example and so if i go uh, back to that plague now it's going to be 15 and you can see it display 15. Uh, so now we can use uh, that sort of uh, easy way to connect data together in different way and one of the things that we can do is uh, i have created just right there that platform that you can see at the top and what i would like to do is that when i enter into my uh, that uh, that safe point there it trigger an animation that make that platform go down and so how can i do that so i can use static variable before i would have uh, been in need to like uh, do like some connection or preloads uh, my player or something like this but now it's like way easier so i can go back to my player and for example i can just create a static variable and that's going to be a boolean so i'm going to say uh, is underscore on underscore area and i'm going to set it equal to false per default and then i'm going to go into my uh, scene i'm going to go to my uh, moving cube that is right there i already have created a script and so here i'm just going to uncomment the script that i've created and i think i've renamed it wrong so just like let me check 
is on area i just need to save voila and so now it's gonna uh, remove the error after that voila so now what this is doing is like when i'm gonna uh, entering into the area it's gonna display that animation uh when that air uh, is on area is becoming true it's gonna display this animation but i need to trigger uh the fact that on area become true and so for that i can just go back into my save point and when uh, my player is entering into that area i can say player dot is underscore on underscore area to be equal to true and so I don't I don't need any more to player give number, so I don't need that. I just need that variable now. And so I'm gonna launch the game. And so now when I'm gonna enter into that area, the platform gonna go down. So let's see. And you can see that now it goes down. Perfect. And so I can just like enter and maybe after that you want to code something else and you want to code the platform to go up when the player has been like uh, getting out of that area, for example. Maybe this is a lift, maybe this is something different. I don't know. Uh, but uh, this is how you can set up static variable uh, in Godo 4.1. So that's it for me. I hope this video has been helpful for you. So if it's the case, don't hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And also if you want to learn Godo, I have made Udemy courses uh, that is available. I have a discount at the moment for for the next five days so you can find it in the description as well me i want to thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video bye